Hey, you wanna know something hilarious? Oh, I wasn't right. rolling sound on any of that. Are you f Here's what happened on the Kitchen and Jordan show. Tragically, we shot the intro and it was very funny. It had references to movies that were at least 15 years old, but we weren't rolling sound, so you'll never see any of it. We'll put it on Patreon. Welcome to the Kitchen and Jordan show. I remain Kitchen. I remain Jorn. Today on the Kitchen and Jordan show, we are trying all of the new Trader Joe's items for July. July. I think there's like 15. 15. When we rate the food, we rate it on a scale of just okay, pretty good, really great. And, and if you absolutely, absolutely suck, suck your penalty box back. And if Kristen and I don't agree, it goes in the fight box. These items, together with all the other foods we put in the fight box, will form a coalition of sorts. And together, they will join forces to eventually avenge the people who put them in the fight box, which is us. I checked out a little bit. <laughs> I came back in at the end and I heard it's about us. So I was interested in that part. This is strawberry shortcake sandwich cookies. Butter cookies studded with strawberries and filled with buttercream. These are much bigger than I expected. Oreo's doing more than they need to. Okay, let's just eat them. Okay, so first of all, Here's my first complaint. You see this box? This box promised wall to wall frosting. You see this piece of <laughs> here? What do you see? No frosting. It's just two cookies kissing, okay? Not acceptable. They're not very creamy. It's kind of just like chewy and gunky. These aren't my favorite. These are bad. I think it's because there's not enough frosting. These okay. are just okay. Just this okay. is disappointing. This, this is very disappointing. The box really makes it seem like these are jam packed with like, filling. Like, look at this. This is embarrassing for you. Next, we have the green olive flats. These are Italian language cookies. They're cookies? Oh no, crackers. Okay, I was like... Yeah, they're not cookies. They're olive crackers. These look like pita chips with olives in them. And we all know I hate olives. Come back to me when you're oil. Everybody likes oil. Not enough olive. What are these for? They just taste like regular pita chips because the olive flavor is not very present at all. They're like perfect with cheese. And I'm like, I wouldn't do that to cheese. Okay, I trust cheese on its own. I think these are also just okay. Oh, they're just okay. I'm I bet we're gonna love Sprinkle Jangle. A cheerful mix of fan favorite candy treats. This is really similar to Jingle Jangle, but like in spring colors. It's just, again, it's just assorted candy. Oh, okay. Here's the thing, right? It's like, it kind of just rests on how much you like each of those individual candies. If you don't like chocolate, you're not gonna like this. Yeah, it's a very chocolatey mix. Are you sad? It's springtime. Why don't you put some sprinkle in your jangle, girl? <laughs> I'd say pretty good. These are a new item. These are the Trader Joe's cookie. <laughs> okay, sorry, I just got so excited. The Trader Joe's Cookies and Cream Pretzel Slims. I'm just gonna pop up comment on a video we posted. What in the AF did I just watch? This. Trader Joe's offers all of these food items in what are ostensibly fancy dog treat bags. <laughs> shake! <laughs> you, you shake? Good girl! Oh, this is how my dog shakes, actually. Just... Really? <laughs> what? Oh, you sorry. <laughs> they're really good. They are quite good. I was skeptical because I was afraid there wasn't gonna be enough pretzel, but actually the pretzel thin is the perfect amount of saltiness. This is the perfect human dog treat. I would sit for these. And I'll dance on my hind legs. <laughs> Do it right now, girl. No, I have to get up. Like this. Oh, good girl. <laughs> Here we go. I don't want it now. <laughs> Wait, we have to rate these. These are really, really great. Right. Next item are the Trader Joe's peanut butter pillows. These are peanut filling in a thin, hard candy shell. My thing about these peanut butter pillows is, are they Tempur-Pedic? <laughs> these are weird. They're like brass colored. Are they supposed to bite them, I guess? It's like the hard part of a Butterfinger without the chocolate. Do you want the frustrating part of a Butterfinger? I don't hate it. I think they're actually pretty good. I think it's like, you'd have to really love peanut butter. Yeah, you are fighting this candy long after you're done enjoying this, this, it. I would say these are pretty good. So these are the Trader Joe's mini carrot cakes. Just call them cupcakes. Cupcake basically is a mini cake. It is a mini cake, but it's like, this is clearly a cupcake and not a mini cake. I mean, it is a mini cake. It, are all cupcakes mini cakes or are all mini cakes cupcakes? No, all cupcakes are mini cakes, not all mini cakes are cupcakes. It's like frogs and toads. I stopped listening. But it was really <laughs> smart and good what I was saying. Stop making cream cheese be something it isn't. Cream cheese has a sourness to it and you're eliminating that? For why? For why? Why? Okay, I did complain a lot. It was pretty good. 
If all graham related products and gingerbread related products tasted like this, I would like them better. Cause this does have a little bit of like a gingerbread-y flavor to it, it but it's a, mostly cinnamon. It's the ghost of gingerbread, yeah. but summertime infused. These are actually, these are pretty good. Why do these look like little bird poops? Well, what are they? <laughs> these are dark chocolate covered pistachios. I feel like chocolate covered nuts are like a big snack trend <laughs> and have been for years. And I've never actually really seen people cover pistachios with anything. These look like olives. Uh -uh. These are awful. This is a nightmare. It no. ruins the flavor no. of the pistachios, and it the dark chocolate is just like a weird texture because of the pistachio. Bit. It doesn't taste like pistachio. It does taste like bad chocolate. Pistachios as a snack, I love them. I think they're such a tasty, savory, great little snack. But this is just disappointing. I think these are penalty box bad. <laughs> penalty I don't want to eat these ever again. I think I knocked something else over. We'll figure it out. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a later problem. Who cares, girl? Whatever. Let your hair down. Let's go swimming. Feel the rain on your, your skin. skin. These are the organic apple cinnamon fruit sauce crushers. I think they're just like applesauce pouches, but they described it weird. This is baby food. Basically. Well, goo goo gaga, cause I like that baby food. It's just like very, very, very sweet applesauce. It's very sugary The texture cinnamon. is terrible. The texture is, it is baby food. Not suitable for children under three years of age. Do children just choke on applesauce? Is this like a thing I don't get cause I don't have children. I don't understand what children eat or how they eat or like what they do or like what their interests are. This is like applesauce with too much pulp. We have or five boxing. Yeah, I, I think, I think it's, it's pretty okay. good. Kristen thinks it's just okay. I think it's okay. Next item. Red Robin. Yum. Ding. Jen thinks the Red Robin commercial is Red Robin. Ding. It's not. It's Red Robin. Ding. Yum. It's yum. It's yum. Now I think you're just doing it to annoy me. It's ding. It's not ding. It's ding. <laughs> I've showed her the commercial and she's like, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Peanut butter and cocoa crunch cereal. I feel like this is the the Trader Joe's dupe of Reese's Pieces cereal. Basically, yes. Ooh. Red Robin. That does smell like Reese's Pieces. Cereal time. I like these. I like how crunchy they are. I think they are a tasty candy. I kept being like, I'll like this. I just never did. Creston thinks it's just okay. I think I... it's pretty good. The next item we are trying is the Trader Joe's peanut butter with honey. I don't understand. Like, do you mix the honey in with the peanut butter? Is the honey just on top? That can't be right. Do you mix it in? I feel like you should mix it in. Hmm. Well, that's awful. It has the stickiness of honey, but none of the flavor. It's watery peanut butter. I don't taste the Isn't honey it? at all, really. Are you supposed to eat it and taste it? Are you supposed Cause to that's not what's happening. You can eat it, but you won't taste it. Are you supposed to eat this? Or are you supposed to throw it at your enemies? Supposed Comment below what you're supposed to do with this. This is weird. It doesn't taste like honey at all. So therefore it's just okay. Oh, it's just know. okay. Okay, fine. It's penalty box bad. Beach day. I have a feeling these are going to taste like every gummy they've ever released, but they just keep making new branded gummy products. So we keep trying them. Here's the gummy candies. It's some sort of seashell situation. Here's like a little palm tree. This yeah. is a crab. This is a crab. Yeah. This is a crab. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of crabs in here. I don't know about you, but these are like really hard to chew. Ooh, they're kind of sour. Oh, I kind of like them actually. I like the flavor. I find them very difficult to eat. It seems like there's only three shapes associated with the beach. Crab, crab <laughs> palm tree, and seashell. Starfish. Okay, starfish. I'm comfortable calling them pretty good. I mean, flavor-wise, they're good. Just know that texture-wise, they're hugging your teeth so, so hard. These are the new Trader Joe's bubble waffles. The bubbles are kind of like mochi, supposedly, but they said mochi-like, so not exactly mochi. Cool. Okay, so are they mochi or not? It says mochi-like. <laughs> I don't know what that means. They taste kind of like a Pizel cookie. They're good. Mm -hmm. What do you want from me, okay? An apology? You're not gonna get it. For a waffle, that we're eating without syrup, they're pretty moist. Mm -hmm. I thought these were gonna suck. Yeah, when you put this in front of me, I was just like, send it back to hell. What are these, pretty good? These are pretty good. Like, the next item we are trying are the new steamed vegetable soup dumplings. We've tried the regular soup dumplings. I think we've tried the chicken ones. They're delicious. So theoretically, these should be good. I don't like these. Okay, so here's the problem. They do taste gingery, but- Too much for me. The vegetable- I don't like them. It just, it's very mushy. Like this, the broth is kind of gingery, but other than that, you're not really getting much flavor. It's not salty enough at all. They're not very good. It's just like, would you like a soup mush inside a That's dumpling? The, the broth is supposed to be a big part of it and the broth just doesn't have much flavor. No, the steamed have... vegetable soup dumplings, not good. Penalty box, Penalty box bad. Penalty box bad. <laughs> spinach and ricotta raviolini. I love a small filled pasta. I think spinach and ricotta sounds yummy. It's like a pretty standard ravioli filling. The spinach and ricotta. 
Ravioli. Ravioli. Those are good. Oh god. Those are really good. Salt and olive oil undefeated, but. Tiny filled pastas are just so delicious. Once pastas get bigger, they get more unwieldy. They get harder to manage. Mm -hmm. This is the best thing we've tried today. That's delicious. This is delicious. Mm. Good job, Trader Joe's. That is exquisite. Okay, truly, I think these are delicious. I think these are really great. These are really great. Wow, it's so good to end on it's a high note. It's good to end on a high note. We had kind of a lot of mid items we this time. We had a lot of mid, it was a mid off. But these were delicious. Trader Joe's, you did okay for July. Yeah. Let's, let's see how you do for August. Also, shout out to the Trader Joe's cashier today who whispered to me, I love the videos. They're the really people fun. who work there are amazing. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. New videos every Friday. New videos every Friday. Please subscribe. We love, love you. you. Bye. Bye.